All right, so if you're trying to put these newer style Vortec engine brackets on your older motor, the main thing you're gonna need is cylinder heads with the three bolt holes. It makes everything bolt up easier. You can do it with less, but this, this will honestly be stronger. Um, what I did on this side, that's probably about, I got one, two, three bolts on this side, and that's all it come with from the factory. Now, if you can pull it off, you need to take um, three-eighths bolts or um, three-eighths threaded rod and make you some studs. It would probably be stronger, kind of like what I did right here um, because I didn't have nothing that would work quite like I wanted to. Um, but originally down here at the bottom and on the other side of the motor too, those had studs in them. The best thing you can do is save all your hardware when you go to the junkyard and pull this stuff off. Um, but I have since removed this engine and messed with it and lost all my parts. But yeah, so you're gonna use your two top bolt holes here and then your top bolt hole down at the bottom to bolt this bracket on. And this holds your belt tensioner up here, your idler and your AC compressor which we're gonna get a, um, just an idler pulley to go here for now because the truck's not gonna have air conditioning for a while. <clears throat> and then on this side, you will have five bolts. So you'll have originally a stud here, a stud here, and then I think these three were bolts. My bracket is broke on this hole, so I used a stud here and a I'm going to use a bolt and then two bolts down here. All right, so as you can see, we've got the stud right here. We've got bolts with lock washers and heavy washers. And then down here we have the same thing. 3 8 bolts with a lock washer and a couple heavy washers stacked up to kind of spread out the load a little bit. Um, now we just need to start bolting our accessories on and we'll be pretty close to having this thing done. Slide this alternator on. All right, got the alternator bolted on. All you're really going to need here is a hot wire from your starter. So like one of the big one of the wires off the big lug of the starter and then you're going to need this red wire to excite the, excite the alternator. I come up with this connector. Um, you can make one with factory connector for this and the other end for the alternator. Um, But yeah, I'd 
I had my local alternator shop order me this, but the red wire is going to excite the alternator and uh, make it charge. So I guess next we'll start on the idler and tensioner pulley. This idler is not very noisy, so we're going to reuse it. Save some dollars. I'm pretty sure that bolt's left hand free. All right, got the power steering pump on. I had to cut that out because I was getting a little frustrated. I'll uh, get the pulley painted and get that installed and ended up taking that back off to paint it, tensioner, and I need my idler set up. Yeah, so getting there. This serpentine setup come off of like a 93 S10 Blazer. I like how compact it is. It doesn't take up a bunch of room. And uh, I pretty much just cleaned it up and repainted most of it. And everything's going to work out great. So this is a good option for you if you're looking something cheap to put a serpentine set up on your truck. Um, we'll catch you all next time.